Shalom and blessings. Thank you for taking this opportunity to coming and joining with us as we meditate on God's word and learn from scripture. Through this week, we are looking at a new topic of the power of thoughts. And for our devotion today, we are uh, spending some time to look at scripture verse from 2 Corinthians 10, 3 to 5. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds, casting down arguments, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. The scripture today tells us that we need to be aware and take captive. Like we was, had learned over the last couple of days, that thoughts are, a, are a, um, a huge part of us every day. And we do think so many thoughts. And often these thoughts are quite automatic. They, they, we, we do not sometimes even think about the thoughts we are thinking. The Bible asks us and gives us an instruction to be aware of the thoughts that we are thinking, to be careful about what our mind is flowing into. The word captive is, we could almost imagine that it's like capturing a prisoner of war. If you were to leave a prisoner of war to his own um, ways, he would probably cause havoc and bring a lot of issues to the, to, to, to the nation. So we are asked to take captive those thoughts. Similarly, when we do not take captivity those thoughts, it can cause a potential harm. It can gain control over our lives and our hearts. So we are asked to bring, come to a place of um, a place where we can take captive thoughts. Uh, you know, be engaged in a battle where we take captive the thoughts. And this verse talks about how the, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. What are the weapons of our warfare? We have the word of God available to us to help us to take captive these thoughts and the power of the Holy Spirit to capture our, our thoughts. So let's consider an example. Let's consider a typical day where we have the opportunity to take our thoughts captive. Sometimes you may be given a remark or a comment um, that, uh, ab about something that you did or, or a feedback that you did. The minute that we take in those thoughts and we, we think of self-defeating, condemning thoughts, we begin to, go, to spiral down. But instead, let's take captive those thoughts. So what does scripture say? Scripture says, for those who are in Christ Jesus, they're not condemned. There is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Or if there are burdens that worry us, let us uh, take to captive by speaking God's word and saying, cast your burdens unto Jesus for he cares for you. So let's take this time to, to capture those thoughts that are not of God. Because the word of God and the power of the Holy Spirit is made available to us to help us in this journey, in this battlefield of the mind. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for our thoughts. We thank you for the for the things that you have given us to think about. We pray that at any time when we go down a negative spiral of thoughts, we pray that we will take this instruction, be aware and take captive these thoughts and make it obedient to you and obedient to your word. Thank you because you give us life and peace as we do that. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.